I can teach you how to make cardboard. In fact, I've made cardboard in all kinds of shapes and sizes because it's procedural. I'm gonna start off with the plane for our cardboard. We're gonna make a geometry nodes and let me talk about a bit of theory. So what makes something look like cardboard is of course the original shape, but we also want this to have some thickness. And there's usually this kind of like sine wave corrugation going in between. This is the part that's difficult. Okay, so making the second layer is no big deal. We're just going to extrude the mesh and I don't want any of these sides. So I'm going to delete geometry by the side selection, but we only wanted to get rid of faces. We have our original, we have our new one. I'm just going to combine those. And now all we need is that middle sheet. How do we get it? Basically in the same way, we're going to extrude the mesh, except this time we're not gonna scale by 0.2 or whatever it is. We're gonna scale by half that number. So it goes halfway. And in reference to this parameter, I want to divide that by two and connect that here such that when I connect this and also do that delete geometry trick, we now have three layers. Beautiful. Imagine that this had a corner that I'm going to bevel a bit. Well, this technique accounts for that. You can do any kind of curvature or whatever. And by the way, this includes things like cylinders. Okay, so the next step is taking this middle layer and turning it into a sine wave. And that's the tricky part. First of all, to do anything like this, we're going to need more geometry for a deformation. And I'm only going to need this on one axis since the sine wave is facing a certain way. I'm going to set position by what? By the normal. Except I don't want it to just be by the normal. I want it to be by a custom function. I'm going to go with cosine. And this works, but it's kind of like a global value. So what I want to do is I want to say do the cosine, but like progress as we go along the x axis. Well, one obvious way to do this at the moment is we take the position, we separate it by x, y, z, and we plug that into the cosine, which creates this curvature. And then if we take this and multiply it by a bigger number, all of a sudden it's kind of corrugating. And if I multiply after the sign, this is going to be our amplitude. This should be half of this like extrusion thickness, which we've already calculated for. Again, if we make a more complicated shape, I'm going to need to add some geometry to this. And it does seem to be working here, but as we go up the y axis, it doesn't travel with it. Because again, this is a function depending on the x axis. We somehow need to know the direction of the mesh in a way that it's invariant to any deformation. And that seems like a hard problem. And that's until you realize that any mesh you can ever model, you can also make a UV map for. So for example, if I make a UV map for this, what if we talked about the x or the y axis in UV space? Because remember, UVs don't care if we transform or not. I'm going to bring in a named attribute. And one of the ones that already exists is the UV map, but you're seeing it's not doing anything. And that's because we're making this relative to the x axis, which is fine. But in the UV editing, you see the geometry does not flow towards the x axis. They actually go towards the y axis. So should we switch it up in geometry nodes? I mean, you could, or you could just take your UV island and rotate it by 90 degrees. Let's make that a bit of a higher frequency so we can see. Let's give it a bit of thickness. To do that, just take an extrude mesh, connect that there and make it very, very tiny. And now this is more of a, a solid thing. And I just want to emphasize whatever shape you make, that's fine. You just need to make geometry flowing in the direction of, you know, your corrugated thing. The second thing you need, and the reason this isn't working is you're always, always, always going to need a uh, UV map and we're using the X axis. And now we got our uh, cardboard thing. And by that, I mean, at least the mesh. You can also do texturing, but that can be its own tutorial. As always, blend file is going to be available in the description. And thank you for watching.